Listening to presidential candidate Ron Paul, you could easily be fooled into believing he's not a Republican at all. The Texas congressman is the only Republican candidate who is a clear and harsh critic of the Iraq war, believes the Bush administration is violating civil liberties, and says Republicans haven't controlled spending. And as he did last night, he gets to take on those other Republicans at every presidential debate. This war is a mistake, as it was a mistake to go in. We're losing this win. We shouldn't be there. We ought to just come home. We've dug a hole for ourselves, and we've dug a hole for our party. It was a mistake to go, so it's a mistake to stay. We can achieve much more in peace than we can ever achieve in these needless, unconstitutional, undeclared wars. Why don't we run on uh, George Bush's foreign policy of a humble foreign policy and no nation building? Okay. Don't we remember that when you sacrifice sacrifice liberty for security, you lose both. How many more do you want to lose? How long are you going to be there? How long, what do we have to pay to save face? That's all we're doing is saving face. It's time we came home. Joining me now is Republican presidential candidate and Congressman Ron Paul. Mr. Paul, thanks very much for taking the time to come on. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so we've just watched uh, all of these pieces of sound of you really sticking it to the other candidates. Uh, the first question I want to ask you is, do they even talk to you uh, oh, behind the scenes? I mean, do these, are these guys even willing to say hello uh, before and after these debates? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty cordial. We don't discuss politics when we're not when we're, we're off the debates. It's always hello and it's always cordial, so there's never been any harsh but words. But you've got to be the guy that, they, that they're not that interested in talking to outside of these debates. Well, they don't want to hear about me in the debates is the big point. They, they don't want the, the issues of the Republican Party brought to the forefront and ask the questions, why don't we follow our own uh, rhetoric? And that's uh, what I've been doing because I, I believe strongly that the Republican Party has stood for less government and I'm determined to defend that position. And if you don't get the nomination, will you run as a third-party candidate? I have no plans to do that. I do not intend to do that. Here's the name that we heard again and again and again last night, and uh, it is uh, a familiar name. I want to ask you about it. Let's listen. Now, you asked me about Hillary Clinton. He's of a meeting with most likely Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton was asked. Of course, that's what Hillary Clinton wants to do. Hillary Clinton. Hillary care is government gets in. Remember the Hillary bond uh, program? The Hillary Clinton plan. <laughs> that's all from last night. They, everyone's <laughs> talking about Hillary Clinton. Yeah, you, you wonder what they're doing. You know, if I wanted to talk about her, you know, I could make a case for my candidacy being pretty strong because she's pretty weak on the war issue and she's ready to go to war against Iran. She's pretty weak on civil liberties when she supports are, the, the are, Patriot Act. Are you guys all just assuming that she's going to be the Democratic nominee? Well, at least the others who have uh, spontaneously brought her name up must uh, be assuming that. But, you know, uh, four or three years ago, I guess, uh, Howard uh, Dean was thought to be the nominee and quickly he faded. So uh, I, I, my personal opinion is, is that she may well not be the, the nominee, but I'm not in that business of predicting. How have you been able to raise the kind of money that you've been able to raise? Uh, I think you've been a surprise candidate in the sense that uh, you're, you're moving up uh, comparatively. Uh, why do you think that's happening? Well, I think the people are starved for this message that I have, limited government, and they're disgusted with what the Republicans have done. They were elected in 94 and 2000 to shrink the size of the government, and what did they do? They expanded it, and they know that I will do what I say. Do you want President Bush's endorsement? I don't, I, I have, I, that has not crossed my mind because I know it wouldn't come. I mean, he didn't endorse me. But would you want for, it? If he said to you, if he said, I, uh, I want to know, do you want my endorsement? I would lose credibility. I, so I you think would say I, no. I think, I, I think that would hurt me. He wouldn't offer it and you I wouldn't would ask You would say no to President Bush's endorsement? No, I would lose all credibility because I've run against his policies. I've been coming from a conservative viewpoint and he's from the neoconservative viewpoint, so I don't represent the neoconservatives. I represent traditional conservatives and the Constitution and he, he really has uh, you, you know, supported another position and also the reason the Republican Party is in shambles. So I would say that it wouldn't do me any good right. to, with, with his endorsement. Ron Paul, thanks very much for taking the time. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.